Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Look at that. Got a little bit of winds coming from the north, northwest. So I was tucking along the Atlantic side. It's just nice and calm. Got full sun, bluebird skies. Favorite time of the year. We just cycled uh, daylight saving time. So that goes from 6, 630 sunsets to 7, 730, just like that. That's probably the biggest help for my fishing because I usually don't get out until 1, 2 o'clock and during the winter time I get until 5.30 and it's just hard to get some nice catches in just like three hours. But starting now, I've got until 7, 7.30 and then by summertime I've got until like 9 o'clock so I get almost eight hours worth of fishing in. But uh, anyways, today we're going to take advantage of it and do a little bit of bait checking and then I think I'm going to work the mangrove edges but on the other side of shark channel which i was wanting to do last time but couldn't do it if i could find some bait so that's the key part find some pilchards and then load up and see if we can find some fish so that's the plan well bait chasing has been a disaster again all this weeds and sargassum weeds uh pushed into the south side uh mangroves so i can't get at anything even if there were pilchards running all over, I couldn't throw the net on them. However, way out there where that pelican is, I think I see mullet mud. So again, we might have to switch from wanting pilchards to, oh, blue crabs. That must mean tarpon season. Uh, from uh, pilchards to mullet then. So let's see if we can at least get those. Well, yep, I found the mullet skulls. So there's a bunch of nice mullet I could throw on. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my five foot net. Dang it. I just got the seven foot. That's going to make things a little bit... Uh, I just got to be a little bit more careful. One throw and done. But I bought bucket lid, so we're good there. Man, I wish I could find some pilchards, but I'm not going to waste the whole afternoon like I did the other time. So I'm going to go right for these guys. Hopefully get some smaller ones and then do some sort of fishing. All right, I'm all set up. They're all in this pocket right here. I mean, I took a good five minutes just to get settled, get the net all cleaned up, ready, filled the bucket, got the lid on, uh, moved in a little bit closer so I'm in a better position to throw before I got all crazy. Just took my time, get set right, because what we want is one and done. Uh, if you start rushing and just make a miss and then they scatter, just a hassle so it's better to take your time let them get used to you and then get that perfect throw and get your bait and get out of here so that's what we're doing now you can see that school running right there so optimally what I'm going to do is to get wherever they're going maybe cut back to where I'm at somewhere in this pocket area hopefully kind of in this muddy kind of conditions so they can't see the net and then I'll throw on them you can see that big pocket there they look like smaller ones so that'll be good but I don't need a hundred, I need five. So we'll have to be quick about it. Well, they're about in range right there. Let's see what we did. We might've been perfect and not got the whole school. Yeah, perfect. Just taking our time and get a good throw and one and done it okay we made the run to this far side across the bay here we're just gonna see what might be around here very tannic water because there's a hidden bay behind here it's just dead set water and then when it flushes out it's this real tannic a lot of times I'll see pilchards out here, but I don't even see any birds working, so that's not a good sign. But I want to see if I see any like juvenile tarpon, eh, maybe a snook, maybe a redfish tucked in along these edges. So we're just going to drift along and see what we see. <sighs> I'm just flicking the four inch paddle tail, just dropping it down, get something to ambush it. A lot of little snappers. I want big boys.
There we go. There we go. Ah, grouper. Yeah. I like the four inch pal tail. You need to grow up a little bit though. That's all we're doing. Flicking. Alright, get them out of there. There we go. Get them. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, fudge. Dang it. While I'm waiting for the sun to set, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sacrifice one of these mullet. Give me a mullet chunk. I'm just gonna put that out on the bottom using a knocker rig with a one ounce weight. Just right at the edge here of the channel. I should put wire on it, but I really don't wanna fight any sharks. So I'm just gonna lob that out there. Let that one ounce take it down and settle. And then just give it a little bit of slack so that bait gets away from the weight. We'll leave that bell open and see what happens. All right, so something picked up the chunk. And it's on the flats. Hmm. Don't know where it's going. Scaring all the bait off the flats. And get out into the channel here. Where all the sharks are at. See what you are. Ah, oh, little shark. Little bonnet head. Break my anchor line. There it goes. All right. Enough. I'm going to let you go. I just need that hook back, buddy. The hook and my weight back. Be free. All right, something picked it up. I saw some big old weight coming across here. I'm not sure what that was. Feel this kicking and kicking and kicking. Yep. Nice jack. Welcome to the party. Not a nice jack. Cut mullet. You guys are piggies. You guys will eat anything. Grunt, grunt, grunt. Something trying to pick it up. That's a fish or a weed. Oh, no, it's a fishy. Got it, got it, got it, got it.
not putting up much of a fight. Doesn't know it's hooked yet. I think this feels like a nurse shark. They're kind of just lumpy and they just spin in circles. Well, every fish is like a new species though. I'm sorry, buddy. You can keep the hook. I just want the weight back, really. <sighs> there it goes. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, ah. Is there any food around here? I dropped the, the tail and a head right there. I just caught him and then it's just like, meh, I don't care. I smell food. Eating machine. Well, we're coming up on the magic hour. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Be out here and see if there's any activity right at the uh, sunset like to see if there's any early season tarpon or maybe some uh, resident ones coming out here and busting on the bait. No pilchards today, not very many mullet, a lot of glass minnows. Uh, the birds look like they're lining up for an evening feed, so that's good. But other than that, I really wanted to come out today because it's a uh, the wind coming out of the north with an outgoing tide. This tide uh, ends right at about 8, 8.39. So it'll start slowing down right at sunset here and that's perfect. With the wind and the tide going the same way, it's super flat and you can see how calm it is. So I can see if any activity happens. If uh, Even if it's not tarpon, if it's just jacks busting, uh, mackerels busting, just something busting so I can see what's going on. Ultimately what's going to happen is is when the tarpon move in they'll be ambushing the uh, the mullet and then uh, I'll be coming out here for that Bit early, but you never know so that's why I'm here. So let's see what happens Okay, the Sun is down. We're definitely in the middle of uh, magic hour and So far I've got a total of uh, one turtle <laughs> That it's all calm and quiet not another living fish around so we might have to give this a couple weeks and see if uh, fish start filling in then all right so you can see that amount of sunset and then there it is the tarpon are coming out and that's oh oh, oh doggy why And that was my tarpon. These are uh, just juvenile local ones. Ah, oh, the four inch paddle tail. Oh. I don't think I set the hook well enough. Had him. Dang it. Eh, it's still fine. So, that's the ticket. That amount of sunset, pretty well gone. That type of darkness there. And then the uh, local ones start showing up. So, there we go. Alright, we've got something on. Can't see it though. around my rudder nice ah. God, jumping all over the place and I don't know where oh 
Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, we still got it on. Amazing. I'm thinking we got a tarpon on. Oh, this is better lighting here. Where's the launch at over here? Walking my tarpon to the launch. <laughs> Keep on coming, baby. We're going to the launch. No, not that way, no. Ooh, there was a big something down there. Hope that wasn't a shark. All right, our ramming speed. Then I'm gonna get out. Hopefully it's not too deep here. Take the light. And there is our boy. I can land them here. Alright. Alright. The bill's open. Keep you in the water there. I'm gonna let you go. And oh, it found its way. All right, there we go. That's our tarpon. Blah, bugs. <laughs>